Good day everyone, I'm Mary Grace Pedroska Radical and I'm going to show you how to balance a chemical equation. There are rules for balancing chemical equation. First, write the correct chemical formulas for all of the reactants and the products. Second, write the formulas of the reactants on the left of the reaction. Arrow, write the formulas of the products on the right of the reaction arrow. Next, count the total number of atoms or ions of each element in the reactant and the total number of atoms and ions of each element in the product. A polyatomic ion that appears unchanged in both sides of the equation is counted as a single unit. Next, balance the elements one at a time using coefficient. A coefficient is a small whole number that is written in front of a chemical formula in a chemical equation. When no coefficient is written, the coefficient is assumed to be 1. You must not attempt to balance the equation by changing the subscript in chemical formulas. Then, check each atom or ions or polyatomic ion to be sure that the equation is correctly balanced. And lastly, make sure that all of the coefficients are in the lowest possible whole number ratios. At least one of the coefficients must be prime number. So let's try to balance a chemical equation. We have here an um, example of chemical equation that we need to balance. Boron, fluorine 3 combined with lithium 2 Sulfide, this is a polyatomic ion, it will yield to boron 2, sulfide 3, plus lithium fluorine. The first thing to do is you need to identify or write all the elements. So B for boron, F for fluorine, Li for lithium, and SO3 for sulfide then after that you need to check if this all element is present in the product so b for boron f fluorine lithium check sulfide check then after that um write their subscript so where can we find the subscript we can find the subscript below the element over here so the subscript for boron in the reactant is 1 since there is no number in there. For fluorine, it is 3. For lithium, it is 2. For sulfide, it is 1. So why 1? Why don't we put 3 or write 3? We don't put 3 because SO3, this is a polyatomic ion, it is considered as a single unit. So, but if it is written in this way, when there is a parenthesis and number over here, we consider it as 3. Let's go to the subscript of the product. For boron, it is 2. For fluorine, it is one since there is no number in there same to the lithium then for the sulfide it is three since since there is a parenthesis over there then after that multiply it by the coefficient the question is what is coefficient and where can we find it Coefficient is the whole number beside the elements. It is written here. So if there is no number in here written, we can see we can consider it as one or we can assume it as one. Since there is no number in there, we can multiply all of the this into one. times 1, same for the lithium, and for the sulfide. Same here in the product, since there is no number in there, 
we can multiply it by 1. After that, get the answer. 1 times 1 is equals to 1. 1 times 3 is equals is equals to 3 1 times 2 is equals to 2 1 times 1 is equals to 1 for here in the product 2 times 1 is equals to 2 1 times 1 is equals to 1 1 times 1 is equals to 1 then 3 times 1 is equals after that, check all the elements if it is balanced. So for baroon, it is not since this is 1 and this is 2. For fluorine, 3 and 1 it is not balanced. For lithium, 2 and 1 it is not balanced. For sulfide, 1 and 3 it is not balanced. So what can we do in order it to be balanced? So you can change the coefficient over here. You can add any number that can be equal to the other side. So always remember that you can change the coefficient but not the subscript. So let's go for the burun. So what number that can we multiply by 1? It is equal to 2. Correct. We can put it into 2. Change here. Then this is equals to 2. Since you put 2 here as your coefficient, the fluorine will get affected. So change it by 2. 2 times 3 is equals to 6. So let's go here for the product of fluorine. So what number can we multiply by 1 that is equal to 6? Correct. We can put 6. So change here. This is 6. Oh no, not this one. Here. To 6. Then 1 times 6. Is equals to 6 so since you put here 6 as a coefficient then the lithium also will get affected so change the coefficient here into 6 then this one is 6 so this one it is not balanced so what can we multiply by 2 that is equals to 6 correct we can multiply it by 3. Put 3, then 3, ti 3 times 2 is equals to 6. For sulfide, since you put 3 here as your coefficient, you can change the coefficient here as 3, and then the answer is 3. So, then after that, check if all of this is equal or balanced since it is equal so this is balanced now so always remember to put one in here because if you don't that is wrong so this is our final answer or our balanced chemical equation i hope you learned something new today and that will be all god bless